So next step, now we can look into uh, how to create like windows and doors. So let's see, this is this is front view, right? Okay, let's have a look. So is that a front view? Yep, that's front view. Okay. So um, we're gonna start looking into where should we put the, the door and then the, the roof. Okay, so okay, so we're probably gonna have to delete like uh, one of the, the lower areas. Okay, and then uh, looking into this. All right. So turn it off. So for my method, I'll probably uh, delete half of it. Okay, select half and delete. Okay, and probably uh, gonna set a window here. All right, and then we're gonna add a symmetry back and click flipped to show both sides. Okay, after that we can go back to here, click in vertex. Okay, click one of those, and then we can click chamfer. Okay, so clicking chamfer allows us to split. All right. Split into that, and then we can cut it through. Okay, so we can make a cut. So we can select this two, this four, and then we can scroll it up and delete the ones in the middle. Okay, because ultimately we want to make a window, and then like if you t if you click this button, and then we'll see that uh, it it's matrix to both sides, okay. And after that, like if we are adding um, a shell, okay. So uh, for for beginners, like you might not know what shell is, okay. So shell is adding the thickness uh, for the wall, okay. It's a double layer. All right. So there we go. Like we have something like this, okay. Okay. We can turn it off for now, and then we want to create a door for it. So door should be something like this. All right. So again, like back to here. So we go to symmetry and put shell. We're having a cute ones. All right. Okay, but that is just the basic stuff. Okay, we're gonna look into uh, on how to create some details and then like the actual door. Okay. So uh, yeah, back to here. But instead of deleting the, the door right there. I think it's a it's good like if we select this and then we detach. Okay, instead of delete we detach. So let's say this is a door. Okay, and then select the door and apply a symmetric. Okay, click flipped. Okay, most of the time like if you see the things one disappeared, you just click flipped and we can get it back. Okay. So as for that window, uh, we need to select uh, we're good. We'll go to border and then we're going to click uh, cap. Okay, but for the cap, um, I'll be adding this like, uh, sorry, uh, maybe I'll just make another one. Okay, so make my mistake. All right, so instead of like using cap, maybe I'll be using this shift and shift and drag. Okay, and then only I make a cap. All right. I put that cap and I click grow. Okay, and then I will be uh, detaching the surface. Okay. Alright. So this will be the window. Okay. And then uh, that will be the thickness. So we apply shell. Okay, so that's the window. So we're gonna fix it. Okay, by connecting it. And then maybe using the cut tool, alternate C, which is available uh, under here. So you can click and uh, cross over. Okay. All right. We still seem to have a bit of problem with the, with the surface. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. So let's look at that first. Okay. And after that, I might want to create um, uh, like a window frame. Okay. So window frame for it. So uh, we can probably collapse the, the shell. Okay. And for this part three, uh, it takes a bit of time. Okay. So click in loop. Okay. So but uh, we can't play loop because we're in the ethical mesh. 
So we have to convert it back to editable poly. Select edge, number, uh, double click on that, and um, then go to this, create shift from selection. So click linear, okay, back to here. With, with that shape uh, created, we can go to here, and then you will see a rendering, under rendering, we can click enable the renderer and enable the viewport. Okay, so right now at the moment, this is like two take. So, okay. Seems like uh, it's it's looking fine, okay. So we have a, a nice looking uh, window frame, and then we can symmetry over by applying the symmetry, and again like flip, okay. And here, I think we can have some sort of like pillar. So uh, select those like loop. Okay, and then we can click create shape from selection. All right, and instead of using rectangle, I think we'll be using a radial, which is a, a round, what's a little bit shape. Okay, and then we can put it over by clicking symmetry and then click flat. And same with the glass. Okay, so symmetry, flat, and then we need some thickness with it. So add a shell, and there you go. All right. Okay. So I think it's time for us to to kind of um, add a turbo smooth and see how it looks. Okay. So we're having something like that, and then um, maybe just just one thing that we want to tidy it up by flatten uh, the bottom part of the house. Okay. So go to here. Uh, click H, all right, and click Ring, and go back to here and click Connect and pull it down. Okay, cool. So let's move. See, we're good. All right, and also I think I would like to uh, strengthen or straighten, straighten the side of the edge of the door, of the wall. Sorry. So we can connect Ring and then click two. I pull it over and turn it off and put it over. Okay, I think that looks cool. Alright, and then back to our door. Now if you want to have the same shape, like at the moment this is looking sharp, we have to go to here. Alright, so on top of that, I will take a shell. Okay, shell, um, something like that. And then, like, uh, we can apply. And uh, edit poly, edit poly, and then uh, click an alternate queue, clicking this button. Okay, it allows us to isolate the temper temporarily. And click ring and connect, and put it back to, to like to the sides. Okay, and add a table smooth, and this is what we're having. Okay, but. Uh, in the end, like we we wouldn't want to create a door that is like a normal door, okay? But instead, we we'll like to create like a wooden plank by plank door, so wooden pieces, wooden pieces, and then it goes uh, like from here to here. All right. So we're gonna work the doors in a different way. But let me finish this one first, okay? Just want to show like uh, it match very nicely, okay? All right. So, uh, anyways, I uh, will be creating that door, okay? So turn it off, All right? And um, without a shell, let's click edit poly and then we we'll click this. You see, it, it makes it looks a bit different, okay? So I think we we might probably want to lift it like this. Okay, I'm going to show, be showing you guys like uh, quick ways on how to, to make the door and then so that it flips. Uh, so it, it stays with the curve. Okay, it stays with the curve. So let's collapse all. Okay, and be using this quick trick. So like uh, turn it back to edit for poly. So shift and select this, and then we can click delete and click number five and delete those. All right. 
that's that. I think I will split this. Uh, number four. Select from here. So make sure everything is being selected nicely. Uh, maybe here. So we have like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So let's detach one by one. Okay. And then take it out. Okay, detach. Here. Let's go to here and detach. Uh, that is one of its own. Okay, never mind. Go to the other one and select this. And just gonna click like detach. Okay, so if you select like individually, you see it looks like this. Okay. So back to here, and we're having like one, two, three, four, five doors. Okay. For well, those doors, we need some uh, thickness. So we're going to go to here and add a shell. Okay, Simpson shell. Okay, actually, you can add a shell to all of those. Shell. All right. And then if we click Silver so Smooth, so all. Yeah, it's good. It's gonna look like this, okay? But it's it's too tidy, okay? It's too tidy and clean. So we're gonna add a bit of like uh, noise on top of it. Noise. Okay, let's see what we got. So we add noise, and then we, we purposely want to. Whoops! Whoops! That that's too much. Okay, make it a bit like that. Okay, a bit off. Right, uh, less less detail. So much. Okay, maybe for this one, I will probably um, add an edit poly. Okay, I want to make a special cut to it. Okay, like adding some details. So I'm going to here, cut, like cut to here, all the way until the end. And to the back and back to here. Okay, sorry, I can skip it from here to here. Whoops, it doesn't work. I think it works right now. Okay, so we can select that and then click ring. Okay, and then make a connect cut. Alright, and then I, I want to scale this in this. I pull it up. Okay. Just select the whole thing, and then if you click like a uh, other smooth, this will be an obvious cut. Okay. All right. And maybe I want to select that and make a cut from here to here to here to here. Okay. Cut number two. Click ring. Click connect, and then we'll be using scale and pull it in. Okay. Okay, again, select all and then click auto smooth. Okay, maybe not the obvious. Okay, we have some cuts right here, and then maybe right there. So add an edit poly. Okay, maybe we have another cut. Go from here to here to here to here. Okay, let's rotate. Okay, and then let's cut it down from here to here and to here and to here and to here. Okay, select select one of the edges and then click ring to connect, and then we can pull it in. Okay, and then select all, and then click all other smooth. Okay, we have some cuts. Okay, so that's cool. All right, after that, um, we will be adding another handle. Okay, uh, right across the whole thing. So uh, we can we can do it like. Two ways. Okay, maybe I'll just make one. 
rectangular bar. Now we put over. Okay, so let's put one. And then I want to make it slightly taller. And adding a few more lines like this. So I don't need that much. Let's apply it, so smooth and see how it looks. Okay, not too bad. All right, and then I'll be adding a band tool. Okay, a band modifier, and start banning them. Okay, I think this one probably works, but just that the, the direction doesn't seem to be correct. So we're gonna go to band gizmo. Uh, probably not there yet. Then let's let's turn on it. So let's make a negative like a 45 degree, and then reduce the amount of like band. No, it should, should be 90, negative 90, and it should work. Okay, we're just gonna have to rotate this a bit and then pull it back like that. Okay, collapse all, yes, and put it back to ethical poly, and then making certain edges look sharper, go like that, and then goes like this. Okay, if you want to cut. Maybe. Of course, we can rotate over. Sometimes I, I kind of like hate this, this basic colors that they have. So I'm just going to apply with uh, some darker sh uh, shader. Okay, so uh, it looks better. Okay, and as for this, we can click like a uh, black. So when we click, click F4, so we can see more details. Okay, and from there, um, I will make a cut. Cut from here to here. And alternate Q. And then uh, let's continue. Oops. There's a good problem. Okay, click on the full. Let's click on the backspace. Okay, back to normal. Okay, right there you go. So we're gonna do the same old trick. Um, where's my stuff? Okay, run just like that. So pull, pull over. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Um, still, we're still missing something. Like where's my my ring? Uh, where is it? Like uh, oh, it's there. Okay, it's there. Where are you hiding, man? I click ring, and then we're gonna click connect. I think so. It changes like everywhere. Okay. All right, so we can use scale. We can pull it up. All right. And then click on the five, and go to here and click auto smooth. So the auto smooth will based on like what you have, like what kind of angle we have, and then it will make a, a different smoothing groups. Uh, let's say for example, uh, I want this to be sharper. Okay, so like all of that, or not all of that, and then, and then maybe clear. See, it becomes sharper like this. All right. And after that, of course, I have to. Make a knocker, okay. So make a box, a simple box there, and then for that box, we don't really need that much of that um, segment, okay. And after that, we have to make a torus to the front view. The torus, okay, that's too big, probably. Just gonna put it here, and the knob was like too big. So let's go a little smaller. There you go. Alright. Print cover. Okay. So at the moment I'm just gonna intersect like with the box 
you know, doesn't want to spend too much time on that thing. All right. But just just make it slightly nicer. We have to apply a chamfer. Wow, this is this is crazy. Okay, that's better. So the whole thing we have to pull it out and then rotate so it fits. So that we finish up part three. Okay, maybe that has to be slightly bigger. So we can fit this. Okay, so part three done.